Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we have a little bit of a project here. We have the uh, Project 52 uh, in the driveway. And what I'm going to be doing today is uh, some basic cleanup on it. Um, as we can see here, these uh, wheels and tires could use some help. Um, the wheels are awesome, but the problem is uh, the actual wheels themselves are just old and dingy looking. Uh, the red is uh, fresh paint. Someone's gone ahead and done the work on that, but the actual uh, rims and stuff are just real ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and freshen them up today, show you guys how I do it. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's take a look at this wheel. Here we can see uh, we have a uh, good fresh coat of red paint on the, uh, on the actual decorative part of the wheel and on the uh, drum but if you can take a look all around it's real scaly looking and just you know all just raw metal and the tires are all real dirty and everything so what I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, is start to freshen these up so first thing I'm gonna do is give them a bath wash them up real good uh, make sure all the dirt and the grime is off of them and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint them so I'll take you on that journey now so let's go ahead and wash them up and then I'll take an after Okay, here we are with the first step of the preparation uh, nearing completion. You can see that we have a good amount of tape applied all the way around the actual uh, decorative part of the wheel, the red part, where there's no red exposed. And then um, all around the tire, uh, right against the lip of the rim and tucked into the groove there so none of the paint gets on the tire. So now all that's left to do is cut a piece of paper out the size of the tire so the entire tire is protected from overspray because uh, that'll just make it look like crap uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the paint so I just figured I'd show you guys the step here in the process this took about 30 minutes of just constant taping so <laughs> be patient and be prepared to sweat if you're in Florida <laughs> okay guys there's the uh, finished product with the preparation complete I do have to work quickly here it's starting to get windy and of course it might rain so I gotta move quick using the uh, duplicolor uh, wheel coating let me go ahead and make sure my preps are good here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down, and we'll give you an after. Guys, there's the finished result before I pull the paper. Uh, we have less than favorable conditions. It's starting to rain, of course. Uh, it was really sunny when I started this, so this kind of sucks, but you can't predict Mother Nature. Uh, it turned out really good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tape off here in a second. Hopefully it sets up pretty quick, uh, and I'll show you the end result. Oh man, well, unfortunately, there's no predicting mother nature here. You can see from the roof of the truck, it's raining. Uh, it did have time to set up enough to where it was touchable, but and I pulled those two top uh, pieces of paper back to protect the wheel from getting any hard hits of rain on it. I don't know how much that's gonna help, but uh, yeah, this, this sucks. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain too hard, but from the looks of the sky, uh, it's pretty dark. Uh, but the wheel turned out really good. Um, I shot it with three coats of that wheel paint and then a one shot of the uh, wheel gloss clear coat, uh, which makes it look really good. So hopefully this rain stops for a second here. I can pull the paper off uh, and give you a final reveal here. Oh, man, this is, uh, this is reality here. This is what happens. Guys working in their garages, uh, working outside. This is... This is all the joys of it right here. So, the unpredictability of weather. Unfortunately, my garage isn't tall enough to get this big boy in here. Plus, we got the Mustang. So, the driveway will have to do. So, anyway, I'll cut it off here and I'll uh, throw an update here once the rain stops. There it is, all finished and washed. Uh, luckily, the rain never got hard enough to um, really ruin any of the paint, which is great. Uh, you'll see. The paint came out real nice, no problems anywhere, clear coat dried good, so thank you for not destroying my prep work in time. So now you'll see what I had already done to the other side. These just came out awesome, look at these babies. So much better than the other side. So there's the after there, looking good. This side here looking real good guys so now I just have to take the same time and do the other side 
Now, let me remind you what we look like. Ugh, gross. See, everything's all nasty and rusty, crusty. The back one's even worse. See how it's all just scaly and dirty. The red looks good, but everything else is bad. So, this side will get the treatment. It's looking good. So, you guys can do this with a couple of cheap cans of spray paint, lots of blue tape, and lots of time. Get your desired results. So, thanks for watching.